are big changes within Homeland Security. We told you last night in breaking news, Homeland Security Secretary Kirsten Nielsen is stepping down. Our Samantha Joe Roth is getting reaction now from Florida lawmakers in D.C. about this shakeup. Hi, SJ. Well, Veronica, Nielsen's departure comes amid a surge of migrants at the U.S.-Mexico border, many of them families and children. And as those numbers rose, so did the president's frustration. I share the president's goal of securing the border. After 16 months on the job, Kirsten Nielsen is out. Her resignation coming after President Trump's threat to close the border. I support the president's uh, in his recent statements in terms of the responsibility of South American and Central American governments, including Mexico, to step up to the plate and help us with this problem. Nielsen was considered the defender of the president's zero tolerance policy, which prosecuted anyone caught illegally crossing the border, leading to family separations. She's had a tough, tough uh, run. At the end of the day, the president deserves to have the team that he wants to have, and that is in line with his policy. She served honorably. Democrats say they aren't sorry to see her go, but have concerns about who could replace her. If she wasn't extreme enough, uh, it gives me real pause to think about who the president will be looking for to succeed her as secretary. This is all part of a massive overhaul of DHS, engineered and directed by Stephen Miller, one of the president's advisors and a hardliner on immigration. The commissioner of Customs and Border Patrol, Kevin McAleenan, will be replacing Nielsen for now. Republicans like Congressman Michael Waltz believe he may be better suited to handle the situation at the border. I've heard a number of great things. I don't know him personally, but look, you know, at the end of the day, you have to have the president and the commander in chief's confidence. Well, as you mentioned, Secret Service Director Randolph Ellis is also being removed from his position. He reported directly to Nielsen at DHS. Now this is the fourth. There will be four cabinet secretaries serving the president in acting capacities only. We're live on Capitol Hill. Samantha Joe Roth, Spectrum, Bay News 9.